Pakistan has told the world that Kulbushan Jadav is an Indian spy who was tasked to carry out large-scale terror attacks on its soil. But in an extremely significant interview to India up front tonight, a Pakistan insider, Mehrab Sarjov, has exposed Pakistan's direct hand in kidnapping Kulbushan Jadav. Sarjov says his sources in the Pakistani deep state have revealed to him that Pakistan spun a story to cover up the fact that it actually kidnapped Kulbushan Jadav to fuel the false propaganda that India sponsors terrorism on its soil in Baluchistan. That's right. The man to the left of your screens is going to be joining us in just a few moments. We will be putting out the watermark on our channel in just a few seconds. It's a stunning disclosure on Times Now because this individual, an activist, an insider, has come up with a completely different but very plausible narrative, concluding, ladies and gentlemen, that Jadav, in fact, was kidnapped, not, not caught, kidnapped in Balochistan on the Iranian side, kidnapped by terrorists who sold him, quite literally, to Pakistan's deep state so that the Pakistani deep state could construct a absolutely fake narrative about India's alleged activities in Balochistan. Let's talk, let's talk to this Pakistan insider, Mehrab Sarjov, who is today risking his life to speak to us because we know what happens when the truth comes out in Pakistan, Mr. Sarjov. And therefore, I thank you for speaking to me. Do you believe Pakistan's version that Kulbushan Jadav is a spy who was arrested on Pak soil in Baluchistan? No, I, I, I am not agreeing with them. They're, they're simply, they're lying. They're trying to make a story. Well, on what basis are you suggesting that the Pakistani version is not true, Mr. Sarjov? Well, uh, uh, first of all, the, uh, Jadov used to live in uh, Chabahar since 2003. So, uh, as uh, Pakistani like to pr uh, like uh, present it, like uh, it is, uh, he was in a big uh, mission, but uh, there is uh, no truth in it. So then what is the truth, according to you, Mr. Sarjov? Uh, what really is the truth? What is the fiction that Pakistan is been peddling in the international community? How do you distinguish between the two? The truth, as it has been said, it has been uh, kidnapped from the uh, Iranian part of Balochistan, which we call it the Iranian occupied Balochistan, and taken into the Pakistan, as I have said, he was not in a Pakistan territory voluntarily. So he wasn't in Pakistan voluntarily. He was actually picked up from Iranian soil, kidnapped by whom, sir, who abducted him? Who abducted him, sir? Well, it is a, a, a big uh, detail on it, and as uh, as I believe, Golboshan Jadov case is still in ICG. I think uh, I don't want to give up too much uh, leg room to the Pakistanis uh, to correct their uh, stories. I mean, there are, uh, there is a lot of hole in their uh, story. And I don't want to correct them for the Pakistanis. No, but you've made references to Lashkar e Khorasan. Uh, what are these holes that you're talking about in Pakistan's story, sir? Well, that is that uh, uh, that's a version already, and uh, mostly is a version taken by that uh, 
uh, another uh, channel and people. And what I am saying, it has been kidnapped by the uh, jihadis plus drug trafficker as well. So it is uh, uh, so many. Uh, Pakistan has been uh, grooming a lot of terrorist organization and the Pakistani states is involved in the drug trafficking as well as uh, other crime in Baluchistan. As this is not like, uh, uh, again, because of the uh, uh, Kolbushan Jadov case, uh, there are a lot of loopholes as well. So uh, let's not to be precise, okay? Who kidnapped it? Okay, so you're saying Pakistan has kidnapped Jadav for political reasons. That's what you're saying. Of course, he's an innocent man. I'm saying that. He's an innocent man. He's been used as a, uh, uh, portrayed as a spy, yes. And where did this transfer of custody take place, sir, that you are referring to? Because you said there was a kidnapping. So where was the transfer of custody? When did it actually happen? Well, according to the sources, not me, according to the sources, it has been uh, kidnapped uh, long before, uh, three weeks, as a matter of fact, before uh, that it's uh, Pakistani announced that on, uh, uh, he has been uh, arrested on 3rd of uh, March, I believe, but he was in... Uh, either kidnapper's hand or in Pakistan. Definitely, it was in uh, Pakistan's custody long before 3rd of March. No, so, they, so you're saying they kept it a deep secret, a very deep secret to hide their lies. That's what you're saying to me. That's what you're suggesting, that this was all buried to the very deep secret. This is big breaking news. We're going to put it out on full frame. This is for the first time that uh, we have had anyone on this channel suggest and get into the facts like the way that uh, Mr. Sarjov is getting into explaining how Pakistan abducted Kulbushan Jadav to try and frame India in a case of terror, cross-border terror. So that was really the entire issue. Big, big revelations here by Mr. Uh, <coughs> by Mr. Sarjov. Now, I want to ask you, sir, they kept it a deep secret, according to you, to hide their lies. I, yes, they kept the secret and they kept it. And as you follow their, uh, uh, this army spokesperson uh, news breakout, they're saying he was arrested in, in uh, Mashkel near Chaman. There is a no, nothing. Chaman is not near Mashkel, or Mashkel is not near Chaman. You have to go why the Pakistani has to link the Mashkel with the Chaman, which is uh, roughly, probably, is our uh, 400 kilometer away from each other. Why they connecting that sort of, why they connecting those to name uh, together. Tell me, sir, Mr. Sarjo, why, why do you think they're connecting these two cities, these two towns? Why would they do this? Because at the time when the uh, Yadov War uh, came to their uh, custody, they didn't decide against who they're going to use it. Are they going to use it? to embarrass Afghanistan, then they will say, well, he was arrested in Chaman. But if they're going to, uh, to put the pressure on the Iranian side, then they will say, well, we arrest, arrested him on Mashkel, because there is, uh, Chaman hasn't got a border with Afghanistan, but the Mash, I mean, with Iran, sorry, but that uh, Mashkel has a border with Iran. So the Pakistani had a choice against whom they're going to use it. Sensational testimony, very sensational testimony. So they're saying, so you're basically saying that he actually, that the Pakistanis actually chose or picked Afghanistan. Is that what you're saying, sir? Have I got that right? Or is it Iran? Well, they picked Iran in a matter of fact, not Afghanistan. 
and they used uh, Golbush and Jadov to put the pressure on Iran. Is that the case? Is that the case? Let me just stay on with me, sir. We have with us Mr. Tariq Pirzada, political analyst. We also have Brigadier V. Mahalingam, defense analyst, joining us today. And I want to begin with you, Mr. Tariq Pirzada. Uh, a testimony that exposes the Sharad, sir. Pakistan stands up in the ICJ, says Kulbushan Jadav is a terrorist, is somebody who was sent in by Indian intelligence. They picked him up from Pakistani soil. Here you have a Pakistani who is coming out and saying that this is all hogwash. This is lies that he was actually abducted in Iran by a terror group, a group that does drug running so that Pakistan could spread propaganda, false propaganda about India. Mr. Pirzada, your response. Yes. Uh, may I ask you one question? Can you give me a little info on the identity of this very suspicious man? What do you mean, info? He's there live in front of you. He's a Baluch activist. Who was his He's, name? His name is Mr. Sarjov. You've just heard his name. I have been talking about him I, for the last for the last all 15 right. and minutes. Which nationality does he represent? He's a Pakistani, Baluchi. He's from one of your provinces. He's a Baluchi. Is that not a Pakistani? Okay, and which part? Where, where does he live in Pakistan? Mr. Koyta, Mr. Jamal, Mr. Mr. Where does he live? Mr. Pirzada, one second. One, one second, sir. One second. Uh, Tariq Pirzada, what is that? What are you trying to get at? Get to the point you're making. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my point. But you have to answer me. I live, for example, I am talking to you Mr. from Islamabad. Mr. Can Sarjo, you give me Mr. The, Sarjo, I cannot, the, the city of I'll his tell you, residence? I was told, I was told not to disclose, not to disclose certain facts because he is risking his life today. So he is a know, planted man. Mr. Mr. So he is a planted don't, don't, man. Don't, don't, don't you know, you he, keep secrecy about, sorry, sorry. about a person come up with a better defense. I, come up with a better so defense. I Let me tell you, you, based you have on been this butchering. You have been butchering a, a large person. number of Baluchistanis. Now, planted, one second, sir. He is pla has been planted. One and India is trying to cover up. Okay. It's okay. element well, of it's one, say something. It's act of shame, which is called okay. one second. Mr. Pirzada, can you give me 30 seconds, through please? The, through the office. Mr. Pirzada, can you give me 30 seconds? Oh, you need to. You okay. Need to, see. Can you give me 15 seconds? See, see, I, I perhaps, I perhaps realize that you would actually come out and say that Mehrab can't be believed, that he's a plant, etc. Now, if not Mehrab, the Iranians can be believed. Doesn't the Iranian embassy slamming Pakistan for undignified offensive remarks attributed to the president of Iran regarding the arrest of Kulbush and Jadav clearly indicate that Pakistan claims are all wrong? Should uh, yeah. I tell you? Let me explain that One issue. minute, one minute. Let me finish. Let me explain that issue. Sir, let me finish. Let me at least tell you, let me acquaint our viewers here in India as to what the Iranian embassy said in reference to what Pakistan said about Iranian president Hassan Rouhani. Now, Basically, this is what Iranian President Hassan Rouhani had to say. He said, elements are unhappy over the promotion of ties between two Islamic countries of Iran and Pakistan are trying in various ways, including I the... I was watching. I was sir, watching his press conference. Sir. sir you are quoting from. Sir. I was watching his press conference. Sir. Let's move, go to the next point. Sir, please. Please. Uh, you are being exposed here. You are being exposed here. Now, you need to no, listen. India is being exposed. You need to listen. You see, you export terrorism. Isn't it also true that Iran... No, I'm asking Iran, you. Isn't it also true that you had... Iran, you had... And when your man... Sir, is, isn't it true that... Is it, sir, isn't it true that Iran has slammed Pakistan for leaking Indian. details of Jadav's arrest? a terrorist is caught... Isn't it true? ...to try to provide a cover for no, his No, no, no. The only people who are actually... Now one can understand why Pakistan is so desperate 
that Kulbushan Jadav is hanged at the earliest. Pakistan is not You are so desperate Pakistan that he cannot so even meet his mother. You want to lock him down. You don't give him access to India because you know that this is what he's going to come out and say. That he was not, no, that he was not caught on Pakistani soil, but he was abducted by terrorists who are your proxies. The LEK, the lashkar e khorasan module, maintaining its abduct him we from Baluchistan in Iran, on the Iran the side so of the border, bring him here to Pakistan, then you show an arrest, it's a lie. which is very convenient to you. You it's don't even lie. tell the Pakistani yeah. public till three weeks even have elapsed. Today. No, no, it's there. You have confessed to it. Your own, your own case documents suggest it. Now, one second. One second, one second. Brigadier Mahalingam. Brigadier Mahalingam. Uh, uh, just hold on. Mr. Pizada, give me a chance. Mr. P. Jada, give me a chance. I hope you are not saying well, let me, let me that uh, Mr. Let me Sarfraz seconds. Bukti, the Home let Minister of Baluchistan, is a plant. Let the me. first let man me. Me to announce the... Hold on, hold on, the hold on for a minute. The first man to... Hold on for a minute. The first man to announce the arrest of Kulbushan Yadav was Sarfraz Bukti, and he did it on the 28th of... You got to be quiet. No, Hold on! I have to cut you right here. I Hold have to on! Cut you right here because no, you, the, you I will not accept this. Talk. It is you. I are you saying Sarfraz Bukti is a liar? Sorry, he made a statement, and, the and I am privy to it. To and he said yeah, on the 28th. 29th no, you, you is the nothing. statement Abadi, made by ISPR. The Sarfraz Bukti the very openly came out and said that he was you caught on the 3rd of April and that this man was yes, captured uh, at Chaman. The distance from Chaman to, to the place okay. Chaman, where the ISPR claimed yes, that he was captured, was 873 Okay, kilometers. gentlemen, gentlemen, let's, that not, is let's, not, let's not talk over each other, please. Gentlemen, let me come in here. Uh, yeah, no, no, come on. I have the permission. Sorry, Mr. Pirzada, relax. Why? One minute, I please. Lie? Sorry, I am not prepared to accept this nonsense. Let me just talk for okay. 10, Brigadier, seconds. Brigadier and Mr. Pirzada, one second, one second. Let me bring in Mr. Sarjov. Mr. Sarjov is still with us. Uh, Mr. Sarjov, Sir, what do look, you think? You found one a second. man who can't speak Mr. English. Mr. Mr. Pizza, don't be classist. You are a bunch of... You no, I'm sorry. You Please don't be classist. Out of what he's don't saying. be classist, sir. Don't be classist. You're a more refined man than that. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't be classist. Come on. Please. I'm asking you. No, no, please. please Whether he speaks English with an accent, he's one of your own Pakistanis. Why are you? Why are you today insulting one of anybody. your own Pakistanis? I care about my analysis. No, no. Why are you? I so you will abuse your own fellow Pakistanis, sir. Let me, let me just if you can't be Pakistanis, no, no. If you can't, if you can't let defend your own you Pakistanis, then God help you. What you He's a one statue. Is. He's a statue. He's a robot. Look at his Who? face. He's a planted no, man. No, you are Don't a robot. You are a man who is talking the ISPR's word. Are you saying Sarfraz Bukti, the <laughs> Home Minister of uh, Baluchistan, is a liar? Hey, listen, Are you not accepting what he said? A, Please um, come out and accept. Okay, one second, gentlemen. I want to go back. I want to go back. One second, sir. Please. I want to go back to Mehrab Sarjov. You have no position. Please. I want to go back to Mehrab Sarjov. Mr. Sarjov, what do you think Pakistan has achieved or was wanting to achieve by doing this massive sharat. One second, India one second, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Peer Zada, why are you so nervous? Why are you so desperate to talk over everyone else? You don't want the truth to come out? Relax, calm down, listen. Okay, okay. Mehrab Sarjov, I want to ask you, what do they achieve? What do they achieve? by doing this? Well, that's, uh, pa uh, that's uh, Pakistani has been, uh, for a long time, they have been portraying the Balochistan struggle for independence as a foreign conspiracy. Yeah. And they also have been uh, saying for a long time that Iran also, uh, as well as Afghanistan, allowed the Indian to use their territory against the Pakistan. At, uh, as I have said, that Rahil Sharif, who was the one who 
brought this issue in front of Iranian president when he was visiting Islamabad. It was not the Pakistani prime minister uh, to raise this issue uh, in front of Iranian president. Why uh, there is a something to read in between those lines? Why the Rahel Sharif brought that to the, to the Iranian, not the prime minister? Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I just also want to tell our viewers that uh, at about 8.25, we are going to be breaking a very big story, which we will debate right into news up. But for the moment, let's just focus on this particular story. And this is very important. So there the cat is out of the bag. And I don't blame. I don't blame Mehrab Saab Who's here on this show. Mr. Pirzada, oh, because is that? the Baluch have every reason to speak the truth against Pakistan, given how you oppressed them for years. Yeah, you're bombing reason. entire villages in Baluchistan to rubble. You're abducting the Baluch people, including yeah. women and children. I mean, will you will you listen I mean, to me? And, and, and will you listen to me before you? If you can't hear my question because you are talking over so, me, how are we going to answer? How are we going to have a dialogue? Relax, chill out, relax. You're forcibly evacuating people living in these villages. I'm not saying it. International community is saying it. Amnesty is saying it. Several reports are out there, sir. The, the Americans are saying it. The British are saying it. The Baluchis themselves are saying it. Your own people are saying it. Your own human rights activists are saying it. You're not in my name. Protesters are saying it. And I'm asking you, Mr. Pirzada. Mr. Pirzada, so I'm asking you. Is it serving? As serving why, an, a, a why, of the why, Navy, sir? Why are you butchering your own people and then passing it off as an Indian, as some in sort of misplaced in Indian Belagistan. conspiracy? I'm asking you this question. Mr. Pirzada, in your country, do India you employ naval officers to carry out Pakistan. such tasks? This is what are you the talking? message of uh, the Have you got some clue of India intelligence work? The whole world. And this, you have and no this clue of intelligence face. work. Do you employ naval officers for the type of job that you have been saying that uh, this man uh, Kulbushan Yadav is doing? He is a people, naval officer. People are trained and to do everything. Just as what Mr. Sarjok has been trained to say a and few he things. Is, and, and as far nice as payment, Pakistan is like concerned, he is a one-man army. He did everything. Both in Karachi and in Baluchistan. That is what your people said. Yeah, listen that to is this. what your ISPR said. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen to this. Listen to this, gentlemen. I want to play out what happened in the ICJ. Now, Merab Sarjov has referred to that. He'll Let's just play out what happened in the ICJ a few months shot. ago. Listen to this. This is very important. This is an exchange between two top representatives. Listen to this. Harish Salve taking on. Nice uh, Pakistan's lawyer. But Let's listen. That still proves the fact. India's position has been and continues to be that Jadhav was kidnapped from Iran and appears to have been framed based upon a confession extracted from him when he was in military custody. There's a long border between India and Pakistan, and there are hundreds of millions of people to choose from. So to kidnap him from in Iran and bring him to Pakistan for the sole purpose of extracting a confession seems at best, far-fetched. Big breaking news coming in. The biggest news break in Jadav case on May 18th. Hari Salve got up in the ICJ and said, and said that Jadav was kidnapped. Ladies and gentlemen, Jadav was kidnapped from Iran. Today we have proof. The proof is on your screens. The man on the bottom right of your screens. Merab Sarjov. But has told the Times now, know, much to the, the absolute irritation and chagrin of Pakistan. And, and you can hear that individual up there who is blathering on and on, who can't take it, who can't stomach the facts and the truth. Big news break. Hey, listen, Here, confirmed, you, proven once and for all that Pakistan that kidnapped Jada from a, Iran to prove to prove to the world their dubious lies about India, India sponsoring terror India on their soil was, in Balochistan. It's been nailed and it's been nailed by a Pakistani and it's been nailed on this show, India Upfront. After this, so there can India be very little to debate. Mr. Pirzada, you tell me, why would why would this individual lie? Why would he ex expose his own country, Pakistan? What is he getting? 
He is not from Pakistan. You are not telling me his identity. He is from Baluchistan. He is from Baluchistan. Is Baluchistan not in Pakistan? Or you have already given it away? Or you have already given it away? Or has it already won its freedom? So you are conceding that Baluchistan is not Pakistan and that you are in the illegal occupation of Baluchistan? Is that what you are telling me, sir? Through Afghanistan into Pakistan. Ridiculous. This man, look at his face. He is a robot. He looks as Pakistani as you. He has no expressions. And he can't make any sense. You well, sir, you've been wound up by the ISI and sent here. So you this man is risking his life. What are you risking? I'm asking you, sir, what are you risking? You are risking nothing by spewing lies. This man is risking his life. Why would he be doing so? He's risking his life to tell us the truth today. And I just hope that the ICJ no, takes note. Like a statue, that the ICJ takes like note. Robot, that the, like an, excuse me. Person then tell me. No then tell me, Tariq Pirzada, why has Pakistan continually India denied the access habit. access to Kulbushan Jadav? What are you scared of? What one are you scared of? Answer. What one are you scared of? Answer. One line answer. Okay, here is the answer. You don't provide access to a terrorist. Okay, so you mean to say that Ajmal Amir Kasab should not have been given any access? So why were you then giving or demanding it access? It to be proven. Excuse you me. You did not leave him can alive. You, can you? You can killed you, him. You can you, kangaroo court. You're just contradicting yourself. You're giving, you're giving a completely no. contradictory you, response. You, you Raymond, you alive, Raymond, no, 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 no. One second, one second. Question. An American alleged spy. Excuse man. me, Mr. Pizzada. So could you please, wrong, wrong could you please you keep quiet for 30 the seconds? There was a man. There was an alleged American spy on your soil that was arrested by the American oh, state on. and you not oh, only gave on. the Americans consular access, and I think Brigadier Mahalingal will tell me this, but you also repatriated, you also repatriated that individual. Absolutely. Raymond Davis was repatriated. Yes. Do you, are you not aware of the money that was exchanged? in his repatriation. Are you aware of what has yeah, happened in that name. particular case? Why don't you come out and speak about it? Hypocrisy. Pakistani give yeah, hypocrisy. Give me the name. Exposed tonight. Give hypocrisy at every level. Dubious claims, lies, all exposed tonight. Hypocrisy and you have been privy. Part of Indian Our viewers policy. today have been privy. Hey, and I just hope that the ICJ takes note Indian because the Indian policy. government, I'm sure, is Minister, taking note. And an they're going to include this in our depositions. We're going to take a short break. Big story coming up right after this break. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't afford to miss this. We will be breaking it here and debating it on News Hour. Stay with me. Just days ahead of the terror attack on Amarnath. Amarnath Yatris, to be specific. Times now, it played out an Intel alert note warning about the possibility of an attack on the Amarnath Yatra. Unfortunately, the predictions in that Intel note turned out to be true. Seven Hindu pilgrims were butchered by Islamist terrorists. Today, Times Now has accessed details of another devious and diabolical Islamist plot. The cowards are waiting and ready to bleed pilgrims again. This time, on their terror radar is the Mahatma, Mata Vaishnu Devi Temple in Jammu. Times Now, Times Now has accessed this specific army intelligence note. Let me hold it up to our cameras so that you get a better view of it. This is what it is. Here it is in my hands. Times now has accessed a specific army intelligence note in which the army is warning of a threat to Vaishnu Devi pilgrims. The terror module has been traced to a specific town near Jammu city. What is distressing is that the module consists of locals also, and they will be armed by local assets. As of now, they're unarmed. And this is what it says. And it is dated July 17th, so this is not some old, regurgitated, generalized intel note. This is the lashkar e Toiba plan to target Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine. Today, July 17th, Army Intelligence shared an input 
that a group five of elite terrorists, three Pakistanis amongst them, one local from Jammu and Kashmir, and one unidentified has arrived near some Samrat hotel, close to a bus stand, ladies and gentlemen. At this stage, all these terrorists are unarmed and weapons are likely to be provided to them locally by their associates or OGVs, which are overground workers. The input further indicates that Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine is the target of this terrorist group in a week's time. So the threat is imminent. We cannot ignore this anymore. This is yet another Islamist conspiracy to target Hindu pilgrims and this time they will be those that are going to undertake the arduous pilgrim, pilgrimage rather to Vaishnu Devi Shrine. And I want to bring in Hina. Hina, who has been tracking this story. And first of all, Hina, this is a very important news development because the last one turned out to be unfortunately and tragically true. There was a intel about the Amarnath Yatra and a strike on the Amarnath Yatris, and now we have this. This note that you have accessed, just talk us through the details. Well, absolutely, Rahul. So three important points that this note really, uh, you know, uh, is focusing on. One, these uh, militants, these LET militants are unarmed right now. So, of course, it's the local people out there in Jammu and Kashmir who will be providing them with the arm and ammunition. Second, now their target is the pilgrims, uh, the people who go annually to visit uh, Vaishno Devi Shrine and, of course, the Katra base camp. And this is going to happen in a week's time. This note came on 17th of July. So this week is extremely critical. And third, most importantly, it is all being done with the help of a local individual as well. So there are three Pakistanis who have infiltrated in this country who are completely unarmed with the help of a local here. And of course, will be, uh, you know, using uh, the overground workers of Pakistani people uh, to uh, get hold of arms and ammunition to target these Yatris earlier. Their target was Amarnath pilgrims. And now, Vaishno Devi uh, pilgrims, those uh, pilgrims who come for Vaishnu Devi uh, the shrine, it is going to be their target and what's very significant is that they have given a very specific input. There are some general threat perceptions which keep coming, that's what our sources tell us. But this is a very specific input that has come because here they have specified that their target is going to be the shrine within this week and this is something that can't be taken lightly. Absolutely. And what is really upsetting about this is that these individuals are going to get local help. So after the last attack on the Amarnath Yatra, we had a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where a large number of political parties in the valley came out and said, never again, we must stop this. But it's quite clear that certain Islamist terrorist groups who want to turn Kashmir into a caliphate, and want to divide Hindus and Muslims aren't giving up. They want to strike. And the unfortunate part is that they're going to get local help. As Hina Gambir was telling us, these individuals are unarmed. Now, Hina, these individuals were spotted recently, weren't they? Well, absolutely. They were spotted recently. Already we know there are several militants who have already infiltrated in Jammu and Kashmir who are waiting uh, because they all have been given specific uh, targets. This input reveals that there are three specific LET militants and it names also that these are lashkar e Toiba militants who have come from Pakistan will be seeking the help of the local people in Jammu and Kashmir to carry out this attack on the devotees out there. There are about crores of devotees who visit uh, Vaishnu Devi Shrine on a yearly basis and that's going to be their target. They have not spared Jawans there, they have not spared cops in Jammu and Kashmir and they have not spared children as well. And now their target is going to be after Amarnath Yatra, the devotees who are going to come and visit uh, 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 the Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine and one week is extremely critical. We are also given to well, understand that following this input alert which is being taken very very seriously because they don't want to take a chance, yes. uh, security has been beefed up significantly. Well that's the question I I wanted to ask Nikunj Garg, our internal security editor. Nikunj, uh, this is a very, very serious development because the last intel alert was just as specific as this one. I mean, I haven't ever come across intel alerts which are so specific in not just time, but also in the kind of armaments that might be or may not be possessed by terrorists. 
who the individuals could be. So this must be based on either human or an intercept. Nikunj. Well, Rahul, in all likelihood, a human uh, in input source is uh, behind these intelligence inputs that we have put out. Unfortunately, you know, the specificity of this input also lies in the fact that it talks about the module's component, uh, as in the composition of the module, the individuals who are likely to supply arms, and that this module, as of now, is unarmed. The target in both the cases, Rahul, unfortunately, again, I would repeat, last time also the Shri Amanath Yatra was uh, very specifically defined as a target, though it's a large geographical area but the target was still very specific this time again Hina's input and Hina should be congratulated for this because you know what it does is a lot of people can call it alarmist but what it does is that it puts the entire security apparatus which is involved in the security of these regular routine year after year of pilgrimages uh, in a higher security alert mode and we have seen in the past that that higher security alert many a times saves important lives and foils the designs of the terrorists and particularly in this case these communal uh, Islamic jihadi modules. These are not regular terror strikes that we have seen over the years in Jammu and Kashmir. These are specifically designed to disturb the communal harmony and that is why for the first time in the history of this country, you see uh, Amanath Yatra and uh, uh, Vaishno Devi pilgrimage is as old as probably our civilization. These, they, they, these were conducted during the time of British also and but never have they been targeted in such an open and clearly manifested manner by the terror groups and this time for the first time probably we are seeing that you know a concerted attempt is being made right. to target the Hindu pilgrims who are coming to J and state of Jammu this, and Kashmir under a, a nefarious design of the Islamic Jihadi modules. This intelligence is barely 48 hours old and that's really why it is so timely and we need to put it out. This is not an attempt at alarming anybody. This is just an attempt to ensure that the word is out there so that our security forces via the media know that uh, we are focusing. We are all focusing now on uh, what could be a potential threat. And as Nikun says, we need to really take guard. Thank you, Hina. Thank you, Nikun. So I just want to open this out. I want to open this out because this now should push all those apologists to open their eyes and accept that radical Islam is here. We have a problem saying these words associating a particular religion with terror, etc., etc., because we want to be politically correct. But political correctness can sometimes lead to grievous, grievous outcomes. I want to bring in GVL Narsimha Rao, and I want to first bring in Shabnam Loan. GVL Narsimha Rao, I want to begin with you. I think the time has come for us now not to labor under illusions that these terrorists are targeting a particular faith. And this might extend, might extend beyond Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, uh, Rahul, uh, uh, I, th I think your apprehension or your uh, uh, conclusion is, is, uh, is likely to be very, very accurate because there seems to be an attempt to create a, a, a religious divide. Why have uh, uh, the, the pilgrims, Amarnath pilgrims, been uh, attacked after such a long time? I think the attempt seems to be to force uh, a communal divide, not just in Jammu and Kashmir, even, uh, even, even in other states. Uh, many of these even lynching incidents, uh, we fear, could actually have uh, some kind of a, 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 a political, socio, a political terror angle to them as well. So there is a, a narrative that is being built and separatists who have always been uh, encouraging such elements. I think today the separatists, the terrorists, and the soft separatists and political parties supporting them, they all are in the same boat. I think uh, 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 acts like these, barbaric acts like what has happened with Amarnath pilgrims would not have happened, but for the courage that these elements, the courage and the help these elements have received from separatists and uh, 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 <coughs> terrorists and as well as some political protagonists who have been giving them the moral cover to perpetrate in such acts of barbarity. Well, let me then ask Shabnam Loan. Shabnam Loan, Jeevan Narasimha Rao says that had we set aside appeasement, had certain political protagonists not given these individuals moral cover, moral cover, we would not have come to this situation where certain terrorists with certainly diabolical designs are being allowed to flourish, all in the name 
of some, you know, greater representation for this and that. That's what's happening. Well, uh, Rahul, may I start? Uh, Kashmir essentially remains a tale of the gathering political storm. It is a storm answer which is the very question. dangerous, Rahul. You know, you, you, yes. you, you always start like this. this you know, yes, with these I am very, coming to that. No, no, with these apo, no, very, very apocalyptic sort of statements. But this is an existential crisis. Nothing apocalyptic about this. And I'm asking you, ma'am, very straightforwardly. Are individuals such as you no, listen who to have me. spoken I'm about you. I'm no, no, who you, have spoken the, about the, some, China, some wonky aspirations of Kashmiri people, neck, disaffection, etc. You should be worried fan about the China. No, no, what, what China? What China, ma'am? What do you want us to do? Send I'm a not, nuclear weapon no, across China? No, no, listen to me. No, no, what China? No, no, listen. What is happening I'm in China? You, Are shells no, coming listen. across the border from China? What, what you Are said? Are kids being killed by Chinese uh, soldiers? Are they sending terrorists across? I want to ask you, what is happening with China that we all need to sort of, you know, gird Can ourselves for them? the coming storm, no. as you claim? Yes, yes, of course. We're talking of about course. Kashmir. Terrorists, We're talking about a caliphate culture that is taking root, Bayatra. and you're talking about China. Terrorists trying to target Vaishnu Devi. Those are not Can Chinese. Now? Terrorists trying to target the Yatra. Terrorists tra trying to target the Vaishnu Devi pilgrims. On device you and religious basis, ma'am, it is a grave, grave situation. It is a dangerous situation. Ma'am, do the you believe? Is, but who are these? There is do a you believe? Rallying, what, ma'am, can I ask you? What should be done? No, no, call a spade a spade today. Is, Syed Salahuddin, it is these people who are behind this. These acts of terror. No, no, let me ask I her. I think you are rallying behind them. Miss Lone. You and some, uh, some apologists in, in political parties like GBL, the National Conference G and the GBL, Congress. GBL, fine. You've all been apologists GBL, for these GBL, fine. I agree with you. No, no, listen to me. GBL, fine. So, so, I so agree with say, you. Please no, you take a position. Even moral support. Agreeing, disagreeing. Agree you take you. a position, ma'am. Shabnam Loan, I'm asking you a very is, straightforward what question. What do you want to do? No, 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 no. Forget we that. Uh, let's talk about what we should do. One minute. Let me ask you. Shabnam Loan, do you believe that separatists in the valley are stakeholders in some sort of peace process? Do you believe that? Or do you condemn separatists as individuals who have no stake in the peace process? Simple question. Yes, no. I, no, I, I believe, I believe the people of Jammu and Kashmir are stakeholders. This no, is who are the people? A, Define a the people. Do you mean? Do you mean Mirwai Umar Farooq, who is also a Kashmiri? No, no. Though he loads to admit it. No, no. And Gilani, I, who is a Kashmiri, am, are they am, part of the? P take a position tonight. No, I, don't I, beat around I, the bush. I, don't I do be politically not, correct. Because I'll tell you why I have a problem. You see, when people come out and say, "Oh, I'm we must beating, speak to I'm all these stakeholders," I'll tell you why. Because, sir, because, ma'am. Because ladies and gentlemen, they are not stakeholders in Kashmir. They are stakeholders for the caliphate. And let me explain to you. This is what Gilani has said repeatedly. He talks about some azadi nonsense. But you know what it is? He says, the freedom he says the Kashmiris are struggling for is for the sake I of Islam. I have never it's asked for the for sake azadi. of Islam. It's I for the sake of Islam. For... What Islam? I'm asking you, I Mr. Speak? No, no, one second, Mr. Paracha. Uh, who is a Rahul, stakeholder? Rahul, caliphate this is, this caliphate cowards are stakeholders? Yes. I'm asking you, Mr. Paracha. Yes. Are they? Yes, no. Rahul. Answer. Rahul. Rahul. Don't beat about Rahul, the bush. Rahul. No political correctness. Rahul. Rahul. Every no, I'm not beating about the bush. Let us, let us, let us. Question is, main question is, let us start barking at the right tree. The first thing we should do is now ask questions from our government. We cannot depend on Huriyat people, we cannot be depend on civil society people. Who have we elected to contain this situation? Our government. The, the, the fault lies squarely with the government. Nobody really? is questioning the government. They have a free hand. They should do everything to contain this situation. Sir, when they take military they steps, they you do. have a problem. You go and you know you go and pump the flesh no, they, of no, the Hurriyat no, no, conference. No, 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 no. Of the, if, no, no, if, of those individuals. No, no, one second. No, no, hang on, hang on. So Are you in if favor the of so the man? No, one second. If, one second, Mr. No, Paracha. One second, one second Ms. Lone. Please, if the please. Is so weak, no, one second. Mr. Paracha, do you favor? Do you favor that man who was tied up to a? No, no, one second, please. Hang then, then this government should resign. 
Excuse me, so Mr. Paracha. If the government is so weak, Mr. Paracha, calm down. What Huriyat people are saying? Mr. Paracha, calm down. Listen, you made a then huge, long, a big, government. winded it statement. Let me ask you a question. Let them, let them, no, it is. Sir, it is. Only to DJ. No, 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 it is very serious. You are One saying second. never before. This situation is never before. And government is sleeping. When the government what are they doing? acts, what is government when the doing? government rewards brave soldiers who but take should, steps to contain situation. a situation, like for example, tie up no, an individual no, it to the bonnet so of a, Rahul, no, of a jeep to save lives, you have a problem is with this, that. This, you this and people like yourself will stand and attack the government for doing that. You put the government on the defensive for saving lives. That's the bizarre aspect. GBL Nasrima Rao, you need to come in on this, sir. scared of this attack? You need to come in on this. Supposing one individual like me attacks the government. Is the government so weak that they are scared of my attack? Let us keep even the separatists away. What I think the real perpetrators of this terror are the terrorist organizations. Burhan Wani, Sayyid Salahuddin, they represent, they are the people. I, I, they, they and LAG, I will not really differentiate them. They just are different Take in action. names. Who is stopping you? I think why I want to understand from the panelists who are supporting the uh, uh, the Kashmir voice. Please tell me, are you with Burhan? If you are with Burhan Wani, if you are with Sayyid Salahuddin, then you are not Home with Minister. this country. I think is you are Burhan then you are you are really you are also equally responsible for the Burhan killings Wani. of Amarnath yes. Muriyatris. We don't want to. So I think the pilgrims have been killed by terrorists and, yes. and, and their Mr. apologists Stop. like you. Why do you rally behind the Burhan Wani's? The present I think situation. I think you are cover. You, you get exposed here. Let me. When you speak up for that element, let me recap. No I've got a minute or so on the show. GBL. One second. Stop. One second. Stop hiding behind his grave now. Give us this. President you are hiding behind his grave. You are the you people who came out and said yes. that, oh, killing Burhan Wani is going to really mess up things what in Jammu and Kashmir. Why did you have to say this? Here is this. Here is the intel note. I want our viewers one last time before I hand it across to Navika Kumar for the news hour. There has been a major attempt, major attempt, a major attempt to target once again another Hindu pilgrimage. And that attempt is being planned as we speak. Here Ask is the government one minute, to allow it to one happen. minute, Miss Loan, one minute, Miss Loan, one minute, Miss Loan. LET plan to target Shri Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine. Today, July 17th, Army Intelligence shared on input that a group of five Lashkar e Toiba terrorists, numbering three Pakistanis, one and a local from Jammu and Kashmir, and one identified, has arrived near some Samrat hotel close to a bus stand. And the area that we're talking about is very close very close to Jammu. At this stage, all these terrorists are unarmed and weapons Action. are likely to be provided to them locally Action. by their associates or OGWs, overground workers. The input further indicates, and it's been bold, it's been, it's been in, put in bold typeface, that Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine is the target of this terrorist group in a week's time. You can't get much more specific than this. Navika Kumar takes this forward. I think the time has come to end the denial. To end the denial, this is the exact spot that's going to be targeted. That's the Vaishnu Devi Shrine. Last week, when Times Now had broken a story with similar documents alerting the nation about the possibility of an attack on the Amarnath Yatra, unfortunately, it came true. I just hope, I just hope that these Islamist radicals don't succeed once again to target Hindus because they are trying to divide this country. I want to go straight across to Navika Kumar. Navika Kumar, you're going to be taking this story forward. It's a very big story. I just hope that the message goes out to the government that they really need to ensure that there are no casualties, of course, and I believe that the army is not going to this time take any chances.